Hi, this is Dr. B. Let's do the XEF6 Lewis structure. C9 on the periodic table, eight valence electrons. Fluorine has seven. We have six fluorines, though. So when we add eight plus 42, we'll have a total of 50 valence electrons. We'll put xenon here in the center, and then around it, we'll put the fluorines. We have six of them, and we'll try to symmetrically distribute them around the xenon. We'll form a bond between each xenon and fluorine. Each of these lines represents two electrons. So we've put six lines, we've used 12 valence electrons, and now we'll put electrons around the outside, around the fluorine, so that it has an octet. At this point, we've used 48 valence electrons, and we have a total of 50. The best thing to do is to put those two electrons right here on the xenon, and use up all 50 valence electrons. We can then go check our formal charges and see if this is the best structure for XeF6. So using this equation, we know that xenon has eight valence electrons from the periodic table. Non-bonding, these two right here, there are two of them. And then bonding, there is one, two, three, four, five, six. Six pairs are 12 valence electrons. So 12 divided by two is six. Eight minus two minus six is zero. For the fluorine, and all the fluorines are the same, on the periodic table, we have seven valence electrons. For the non-bonding, those are these ones right here. We have six. And for the bonding valence electrons, we have a pair right here, so 2 over 2. 7 minus 6 minus 1 is 0. Because my formal charges are 0, that tells me that this is the best structure for XeF6. So this is the one that you would want to write down on a test or an exam. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for XeF6. Thank you for watching.